New home sales shot up nine times in a week, but secondhand sellers are still struggling. How long can this go on before the market turns around? Hi, I'm Bobo and welcome to our weekly recap of Hong Kong real estate. Following recent interest rate cuts, major developers have kept prices low to stay competitive in the crowded new property market. This approach has effectively revitalized the market. For example, One Jardine's Lookout in Happy Valley successfully sold all 85 units in its first batch. Following this, 18 more units were immediately put on the market. The starting price after discounts is about 3.6 million Hong Kong dollars, with all units located in Block A. The smallest unit in the project is around 180 square feet, featuring an open plan layout. The average price per square foot is about 20,000 Hong Kong dollars, roughly 18% higher than the first batch. However, given the relatively low lump sum prices, with all units under 4 million Hong Kong dollars after discounts, strong demand is still expected. Another major project that supported the weekend market was the Yoho Hub 2 in Yunlong. Over the weekend, 120 units were offered for sale, with around 115 units sold. The developer reported that on Saturday, the first day of sales, three large-scale buyers were recorded. The biggest buyer spent over 21 million Hong Kong dollars to purchase two three-bedroom units. As a result, the developer quickly raised prices and launched an additional 94 units. Discounted prices start from 6.66 million Hong Kong dollars, with an average price of about 15,100 Hong Kong dollars per square foot. For reference, the price list shows that unit F on the 37th floor, measuring 747 square feet in size, is priced at 12.889 million Hong Kong dollars. This is 1.5% higher than the same unit on the 36th floor from the previous batch, which was priced at 12.698 million Hong Kong dollars. After accounting for floor differences, the price increase is estimated to be around 1%. Additionally, the developer's Cullen and Sky project in Kai Tak launched 122 units over the weekend. The discounted prices range from about 4.7 million Hong Kong dollars to 11.9 million Hong Kong dollars, with an average price of roughly 20,900 Hong Kong dollars per square foot, roughly in line with the previous price list. The spotlight this week is on the Pavilion Forest in Kai Tak's former runway area. The developer's Phase 2 project is launching 155 units, with discounted prices ranging from 4.275 million Hong Kong dollars to 10.869 million dollars. The average discounted price per square foot is around 19,200 Hong Kong dollars, about 7% higher than the first batch of the Pavilion Forest Phase 3 launched two months ago. Even with new launches priced low and staying near recent lows, the second-hand market remains under pressure, leaving little room for higher price listings in the short term. Over the city's four biggest real estate agencies, over the weekend, the top 10 blue-chip housing estates recorded a total of 10 deals, three more than the previous week, showing little improvement. Additionally, sellers are still frequently taking losses. Here are two cases that illustrate this. One owner at Nanfeng Sunchun, who held the property for 10 years, sold it at a loss of 320,000 Hong Kong dollars. The unit located on a lower floor of Block 5 with a saleable area of 516 square feet was sold for 4.78 million Hong Kong dollars, equating to about $9,200 per square foot. In another case, Sorrento at the Kowloon MTR station recorded two transactions following the rate cut, both of which were below bank valuations. The most significant difference was for a high floor unit in Block 5, with a saleable area of 853 square feet. It was sold for 19 million Hong Kong dollars at around 22,200 Hong Kong dollars per square foot, which is 1.38 million dollars, or about 6.8% below the bank's valuation. For more information on the secondhand market, stay till the end of this video for this week's recap of secondhand transactions across each district. That's all for this episode. See you in the next.